my fishing kit for my inch bag or I'm not coming home. Now, I'm thinking about changing up a few things, but I want to show you what it is right now. Now, in this container here, I've got four um, film canisters that have, you know, swivels and hooks and other things like that. And I've got three bobbers up here at the top. And uh, I've got some trot line goodies down and stuff down inside here. I've got some drop line stuff and some extra swivels. And, of course, there's this big thing of hooks here that I've never opened. And there's the three bobbers at the top. And so this thing holds a lot of stuff. But if you're not coming back, you're going to need to carry more than just your little tiny fishing kit. You're going to need to carry something that's going to sustain you for a while. So that's why I chose this container. I realize it's a little big, but the I'm not coming home bag is pretty darn big anyway. So, what is this thing? It is a view loader, is the name of it, and what it is made for is for paintballs. Okay, they sell a vest and hip pack and that to take these things, and when you load these full of paintballs and you stick them down in the vest and you wear them, you know, like it's like wearing clips for a regular gun. And you pop it open, you dump your paintballs into your into your hopper on top of your gun, and you continue fighting. Well, it's got a spring-loaded top, you know, nothing spectacular. It's got a little spring there in the top. You can see the wire, I guess, a little bit there. So it, you know, stays open so you can load your paintballs. But it is a rather good size plastic tube. Now, it does not have an O-ring, so it is not waterproof, but it is water-resistant quite a bit. And a uh, little lip sticks up. See a little lip there? And it snaps pretty darn good when it snaps shut. And uh, you can't squeeze it and make it pop open. So worked out pretty good. I may go with a different setup this year. Um, this, for me, I've got really big palms but short fingers. They're what they call baker's hands. Uh, uh, it was my grandparents were bakers. So, but you know how you make your fishing kit and you put your line on there and you toss it out. This is a little bit big for my hands. Now some of you guys who have like extra large hands, they probably work really well for you. It's a little bit wide for me. Okay, so um, yeah, that's what it is. That's what the tube is. And you can put your trapping kit. I have one with a trapping kit in it also and, and it works out real well. So, as I said, four film canisters in there plus extra room and there's still some room in there. I mean, these things move around a little bit in there, and you know, it's not jammed totally full, but I could put more in there. And uh, I just wanted to show you, View Loader is a name that's on there. View Loader. And that's what I use it for, for my fishing kit and my trapping kit and other stuff. And it just keeps it well organized, doesn't fall open. Okay, not going to pop open. There's no lock on the cap or anything. There you go. That's in my inch bag. Of course, I have a smaller one set up for regular fishing and doing other stuff, which I think I might change this year. Uh, I might go with a thing called a Cuban Yo-Yo, which I'm trying to get a hold of, but right now they're out of stock at Bass Pro, and I have to order it, and blah, 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 and you know how it goes. But This was in the paintball section, and they were on sale for a dollar like a year ago, and I picked up uh, four or five of them, and that's what I've been using, so... Just to give you an option out there.